I'm playing with a compass needle near a wire and it was discovered by Hans Christian Ersted in 1820 that if you have a direct current passing through a wire, and I've got one here that goes down under the table. Oh, I'm under the table? Let's have a look. Right. Goes under the table and then it goes round in a circuit and I've got, well, I haven't turned it on yet, but it's going to be 10 volts going through there leading to a current. And Ersted discovered in a, in a public experiment that he did in front of a big audience, he found that you could deflect the direction of the compass needle. I've got my compass needle, the red points towards the south, the silver sign goes towards the north. Now I'm going to turn this around the wire and you can see as I do that, it still points in the same direction. As soon as I turn on an electric current, Ersted found that the direction of the needle will move. So there it is, that's pointing north, north is that way, and I'm going to turn it a bit further. So at this stage, it's pointing, it seems east, but that's actually north. And now I'm going to go to the voltage supply and put 10 amps through this wire. And you can see as you turn that on, the compass needle no longer points east, it points more towards this direction. And I'll turn it off, and I'll turn it on and you can see that it ends up being deflected. Now you can think of this as being a magnetic field this way and a magnetic field pointing that way and the sum of these two magnetic fields I can represent by saying that's the Earth's magnetic field and this is a much bigger magnetic field at right angles to it because I've turned this around by 90 degrees and that points in this direction. So the compass needle tells me the direction of this resultant magnetic field, the sum of these two, and it gives a direction. And now if I turn this round by another 90 degrees, so I probably haven't got it lined up exactly right, but now I've got a magnetic field given by the green pointing that way and a magnetic field roughly pointing in the opposite direction. And this is smaller than the magnetic field due to the current, so I get a little magnetic field pointing that way. So it's pointing in the opposite direction. Now if I move it round a bit further, you can see the direction change. And then when I go all the way around back to the starting point, the magnetic field seems to have turned around, curled around, and come back into the same direction. So what Ersted discovered was the magnetic field near the wire circulates around the wire as though it's going in a circular path. It's bigger close in and it's weaker further out. There is a relationship by somebody else called Ampere which relates what happens as you measure the magnetic field round here times the distance and that's related to the current in the wire. Which way is the current flowing? We have a rule, if the current is flowing upwards you point your thumb in that direction and then your fingers curl around the wire and that tells you the direction of the magnetic field. So, so there's something called the right hand rule to tell you the direction of this thing. So you're seeing the first example through this experiment of how a compass needle is moved by a current. Now you, from that you can build a way of sending messages down wires. You start off with a current which will then deflect a needle one way and then it goes back to where it was deflected and go, and this is the beginning of telegraphy, sending electrical messages down wires, dots and dashes if you like, and then you can send information somewhere else. If you ever see the, the movie The General with Buster Keaton from way back, it's meant to be in the Civil War period, which is, I don't know, the mid 19th century. And they had telegraph wires alongside the railroads. And the way you could set information was through these telegraph wires down to let people know what the army was up to. So Buster Keaton spent his time pulling down all the telegraph wires to make sure that the messages couldn't get through. Somebody doing Morse code, dot and dash, well, in this case, it's going to be on or off and I could do dot and then I have to wait and dot and then there's a wait and then another dot and then I could have a dash which would be longer so we have it on there for a longer period and then off I'm making this up as I go along this is the beginning of sending messages it's a turning point in science it's more of a turning point in science because this is an electric current passing down a wire, producing a magnetic effect. So 
With this discovery, Ørsted had discovered a connection between electricity and magnetism. They weren't separate subjects after this. They were part of the same subject, which we now call electromagnetism. You know what? Today I'm going to curl to the left and not the right. It, I don't see why it always curls the same way. That's the way nature is. What can I tell you? 